Welcome to Sacred Rebels Podcast, where we discuss life after trauma as we question societal norms and shatter stigmas. Are you a woman who longs for a sense of community and understanding? Well, stick around. There is a seat for you here. This is your host, Tay. And co-host, Amy. And we're just two best friend millennial moms and entrepreneurs navigating life and motherhood while on a spiritual healing journey. We don't do surface level, and we're definitely not your typical moms, so let's dig deep. We plan to cover it all and take you behind the scenes as we share our personal experiences, learn more about the holistic side of healing, and introduce all the incredible humans we've met along the way. Join us as we share the good, the bad, and the ugly side of healing. We hope to help you step into your power. Thanks so much for listening. Hey y'all, welcome back to Sacred Rebels Podcast. Tonight we have Megan here and she is going to share all about hypno breath work. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited to get into this. We attended a session last week and we are just so excited to talk about it. So we're going to start off with a big deep breath like we always do. Yes, please. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. If you're driving, you know, be safe. <laughs> we take a big inhale through the nose. And then slowly start to exhale, let it go. Just be in this moment, all right. Mm. All right, and we, like always, we're gonna read a card tonight and we had, well, today, listen, I'm used to recording at nights and it's Sunday afternoon. We are going to have Megan read our card that she pulled. Okay, I got focus on the light. But I want to start with, if any of y'all know me, the fact that I'm reading <laughs> publicly, <laughs> I have made great strides here. So <laughs> It's kind of sort of publicly, right? Like, yeah. Okay, so it, a tremendous force of light is gathering around you. It is attracted to your purity, your intention to create from the heart. As your intention grows, so does the light. As the light grows, so does your intention Magic wants, you, wants, magic wants to happen for you. The synchronicity, perfect timing, opportunities, and information that are needed will seem to be drawn right to your door. Awesome. So, how does that <laughs> pertain to you right now? How could you relate to that in a specific way? Maybe something going on in your life. Maybe share some insight. So, I had a moment this morning, actually, um, or I just kind of like took inventory. I let go of a few prominent male figures in my life this week, two of them, and got my head on straight. And I started to, like I said, take inventory to what people were like, how they were speaking to me and what they'd say about me. And it was all beautiful feedback. Like, I love your energy. I love being around you. And I'm like, that's great. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. But I'm like, maybe... I should listen to that more. Like, like there's something that people are seeing in me. Maybe I should give myself more credit. Maybe yeah. I should spend more time looking in the mirror. And I feel like, um, yeah, there is something that is changing and that I'm attracting, like this podcast. Yeah. Um, yes. I actually have another one in a couple of days. Uh, like things are literally starting to show up at the my, at my door, and I'm not having to like hustle for it. There's just like coming to yeah. me. So law of attraction, yeah. for sure. I think it's so easy to um, be so down on ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. We don't. We definitely don't see what other people see in ourselves. So um, I think that's beautiful. I'm so excited to share about this little breathwork session that we had. It was incredible. Like, I've done a breathwork event before. Amy's done many. This was so different for me, though, because I was in such an intimate setting. Like, I was in my room with my headphones on and, like, was able to really, like, kind of kind of let what happened happen and not worry about outside opinions or people mm -hmm. watching me or any of the things, right? You felt safe. Yes. You were in your I home, very, in your bed. I felt very, very safe and comfortable. And in that, like, I had the biggest emotional release I think I've ever had. Like, I was just, like, <gasps> like, weeping, like, just weeping. And I came out of that, like, still, like, floating. And I think just knowing that this is it. Like, I'm living my purpose. I'm doing it. I'm doing the work. I'm healing. 
I'm figuring all the things out and like it's it might be uncomfortable and messy but like holy shit was that like the most it, like I'm like why the fuck do I not do breath work all the time mm-hmm. the most incredible natural high I think I've ever experienced in my entire life yes <laughs> literally yeah, it was amazing. But I think Megan should probably introduce herself. I know, true, true. This is true. What? Getting way, way too ahead of myself. I'm We're just, just so excited. Really excited, yeah. It's good work. It I, was incredible. So I, how long have you been doing this? Like, I feel like it was, it's been a year. Like, creeped up really fast. I feel like I've been saying, like, six months for too long. It's been a year now. Nice. Yeah. Um, my first breathwork experience was at Fit for Service with Aubrey Marcus. Um... It was in a room full of 50 people, and I've never done breath work. I've never had that kind of experience. And people are, like, roaring and screaming, and the woman behind me is having an orgasm. And I'm like, what the fuck is this happening? Shit? Yeah, I'm like, yes. these fucking weirdos, right? But then I was like, I'm like, I want this. I'm going to drink the Kool-Aid. And I just let go. And when I let go, I went into, like, this goddess mode. I started to... Like, the way I started to move my body was different. It felt like the goddess embodied. And, you know, when you do the breath work, your body, your body can cramp up and stuff. So my hands were cramped up. It doesn't hurt. It's just awkward. Yeah. My hands were yeah. like this. Like, yeah. I swear. No, it's a good sign. It was so crazy. That things are working. Um, and at one point towards the end, I, I sat up and I'm, like, kind of crouched in a funky position. And Arby comes over. My hair is all in my face. And... He comes over and he leans in real close and he's like, he whispers in my ear, rise, goddess, rise. And I was like, yeah, okay, Aubrey. Like, yeah. just right in my face. I could have kissed him. Um, so I, with my cramped hands, I pulled my hair out of my face, <laughs> pulled it together, and I stood up and I shook my hair out. And something changed. Um, I, like, shifted. I could, like, really just feel the, the goddess come in, and I was like, holy fuck. It is like drugs, but you're sober, and you can walk out and then pull it together. But I didn't have – so you just breathe. Like, that session was just breath. There was no guided anything. So you come out of it, and I feel like you have to process what you just went through. And you're like, yeah. what happened? Something happened, but what happened? With hypno breath work, what I do, it's very precise. And that's one of the things I love about it. I can get into that or we could yeah. is there so more how I could did share? you find yeah. your way into this kind of like spiritual realm what kind of like guided you here was there like a life event that happened was there mm. like isn't there always yeah mm-hmm. that's yes. what I mean yes. we want to hear it we all have our story um so mine started when I was 12 so my dad committed suicide and I remember just like sitting on the couch and thinking like there's something really wrong in the world like my little childhood fantasy innocence was kind of shattered at that point. But simultaneously, I was introduced to an amazing woman who's still in my life, Susan Berry, who showed me Reiki. And since those are big like life moments for me, so the impression that I got 12 years old was something is not right in the world. Mm. And But there's also a great opportunity for healing and growth Absolutely. through Reiki. And Reiki just opened up all the doors for me since then at such a little age. Um, and I got into all the things, you know, meditation and ecstatic dance and psychedelics and all the things to open up the mind and the spirit and learn and grow and heal. And then I fell into the breath work and then I fell into hypno breath, hypno breath work, which is my cousin's best friend is the founder of hypno breath work, Francesca. And my cousin like nudged me. She's like, you really should check her out. You should check out her program. And I did it. And it's been fucking game on since yeah. then. So what's the significant difference between hypno breath work and like a traditional breath, breath work? work yeah. yeah. Um, so the process that we take you through is, you know, we do, we warm up, let the breath do its thing for a yeah. minute. And then we're, we access the subconscious. So when you breathe like that, that three-part breath that we did, you're able to bypass the critical factor that develops around age seven, and then you, you've got your subconscious. So it, and it quiets down the frontal cortex. This is the thinking part of your brain. So yep. we're able to access the subconscious. We're able to get in there and release all of the limiting beliefs, the lies, the bullshit, the trauma yep. that we've stored in our brain release that then reprogram the subconscious to whatever belief system you want amazing and then we 
And uh, I always end the session with like, so, you know, when you're in that receptive state, what is your next action step? And that's huge. So instead of just having a breathwork session and processing and releasing, you come out of that session with an actual plan that came from the intuition or the subconscious. And what I'm learning, what I'm just, you know, I read about the subconscious, it sounds amazing, but what I'm really like truly knowing in my bones and in my soul is that there's a lot there and you can't go wrong once you've accessed that. So the mm. answers that come are going to guide you. It's your inner knowing. Yes. Like it's this beautiful thing that I have realized over the past few years, specifically more in the last six months is like, it's not about learning. It's not about reading it in a book. It's not about like figuring it out. It's like if you sit and you trust, it's like these things come to you or you mm. hear it and it's your inner knowing. Like we have all the information. Our ancestors want to feed us all of the information mm -hmm. and like you just know. Yeah. Like you fucking know. Yeah. And you're like, wait a minute. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's happening and that's happening and like there's more and more people like it's just it's happening. So there's like many ways to access that, you know, it's through breath or psychedelics or meditation or, you know, whatever it is. There's yeah, many. We had talked about the yeah. meditation aspect of it a, a few weeks ago, but we had movement, we were just saying dance, like, yeah, like exactly. having you rise, like the goddess rise in you. I, I did a private session um, here. I, this is something that I offer. So here at the studio, that's what I want. Like I know my job is for everybody, for me to pull people's like inner power out. Mm -hmm. Right. So we like sit down, we talk, we figure out like what's your main block. And then you bring that to your attention your awareness wherever that is and then we go in that room and I play the gong or I play mm -hmm. music or I play the sound and yeah. I'm just like listen like scream if you need to mm -hmm. scream yeah. dance if you need to dance cry if you need to cry laugh if you need to laugh like whatever it is your body is needing to heal that thing that is holding you back from living your full potential like your full potential, like whatever that is, like limitless, like yeah. it's wild and you're just like, it's attainable and you're like, oh my God, it is. Yeah. And like you, I know I'm so excited just listening to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's well, exciting. Yeah. yeah. And like our, our specific, like Megan had uh, emailed us for everyone listening. Megan had emailed us before this session. She really wanted us to experience this with her before she came on. So like, you know, so we had like this experience with her. And so she asked me, she said, is there something specific that you want to work on? Or like, you know, what are you thinking? Should we just go with like a go with the flow one? And I was like, honestly, something that me and Aim are both really struggling with right now is like imposter syndrome and feeling like, you know, we're unqualified or, you know, we, we aren't capable or just whatever it may be. And so that's what we worked on and that's what we did. And I, and I feel like I truly came out of that just like knowing that like, nope, like this is mm -hmm. it. Like this is fucking it. This is it. This is it. Mm -hmm. I've been saying it. I'm telling I you. Know. It was like channeled at the beach. We jumped in the ocean. I got out of the ocean. I was like, this is it. This is it. <laughs> like we're on it. We're in it. We're doing it. And I think sometimes it's so easy to have, again, that wise mind come in and scare us a little bit and just be like, mm, like, you know, whatever. Well, this is what everybody needs to understand. It is our brain's job to keep us safe. Like yep. I I started the break method with Busy Gold. Busy Gold is amazing. She'll be on the podcast forecast 100%. She's amazing. She does so many things. Booty yoga, like break method and just just like an empowering woman, like boss, right? And um it's our brain's job to keep us safe. Yeah. So when and I felt it in your breath work, I literally had to be like just let it go. Like, my ego, like, I was sitting there in my bedroom, like, just like, oh, do I really want to do this? Like, I had just done a five-hour healing sound session with this other healer that I connected to through Taylor, who is fucking amazing. Shout out to Gary. He is in Wolfboro. He does all his sound practices with donation-based and uh, just yeah, it's he's a incredible. wild story. He's incredible. He's incredible. An incredible healer. And I got connected to him, and every single thing that has happened in the past – you know, six months for me has been like led up to everything to that day that I did breath work with you. It was just like, yeah, I sat with him for five hours all day. I just like released every cord, every tie, every negativity, like everything. And then 
the situation with imposter syndrome um, is just so it, right? Because I, I talk about it. Like, I was a drug addict for a really long time. And, mm. like, I never went to college. Like, I barely graduated high school. Like, I don't have a great education. Like, I'm not really great with grammar. If you read my posts, like, I'm not great with punctuation. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I just, like, have all these doubts and fears and insecurities and all these things. But I'm like... Nope, because none of that fucking actually matters. It doesn't. None of it matters. None of it matters. That's this fucking weird, like, this level of consciousness that we live in that's, like, not even the truth. It's just this, like, weird video game. Like, that yeah. movie. What's that movie? <laughs> Which one? With Ryan Reynolds. It's, like, a really, like, oh, non-player guy? characters. It's, like, no, guy, right? like, Yeah, with the non-player yeah, characters. Yeah, the non-player like, characters. Yeah. yeah, so, like, don't be an NPC. Like, don't yeah, be a non-player character. don't be character. an NPC. <laughs> like, we're not here for that. Like run the show like this is it like it's our time now to like figure it out like we can heal ourselves yeah yeah it's our job like sometimes i'm like i have to reel it in because i'll start (laughs) talking real crazy and people be like wait a minute no but that's what we're here for we're here to talk crazy and we're here to get all into it but i think um it's again it's like when you believe in something so like wholeheartedly you almost want to protect it so it's Mm -hmm. like you don't want to I mean, at least this is my experience. I believe in this so wholeheartedly that sometimes I'm, I'm careful about what I say and how I share it because if someone doesn't believe in it too, I can take it very personal. And then I'm like, oh, but no, you know? Mm-hmm. So now it's just like I kind of, in this way, have like tried to protect my energy and protect my mind in that aspect because I don't want the outside noise coming in and being mm-hmm. like, oh, mm-hmm. they're right. Like, it is all whatever, like, whatever they say or it is that. So now I'm just like... I'm very intentional with what I say and how I say it and then also who I say it to and like I'll just agree to disagree in the situation and be like okay let's drop it because like I don't even have fucking time for it like don't not the energy like can't argue with you you know and and here I am with my excitement so I was before I got into the whole tangent about busy gold and all of our powerful goddess women and all the things it's our brain's job to keep us safe that's you know where I went with that So if we can convince our brain, and this is what happens when we can calm the nervous system with the breath, that it's safe and that we're doing this for our greater good. Mm. Like we are doing this breath practice or we are doing this certain situation or we're doing this sound bath or this sound healing for our greatest good, for our own healing. We can let the ego go. We can let the big protector go, the thing inside of us that's like, nope. You mm-hmm. can't do that. You yeah. have to yeah. stay here at this level of consciousness and this level of human existence because this is where we exist. Yeah. And we do. We have to exist here, but our existence here will be what it's supposed to be, right? Because, like, our existence here is supposed to be at the highest level of consciousness so we can experience everything that's yeah. happening fully and not with the logical mind of, mm-hmm. like, this is bad, this is good, like, this is like this like no everything that is happening for us for the higher purpose for the higher purpose everything so if you can start to process your thoughts of like oh my god this is happening to me because it's for the greater good yeah Mm -hmm. yeah switch your mind yep yeah i just had a bunch of like um scary situations like with letting these men go in my life like they were you know kind of holding me up in certain ways Mm. and um But, like, once it happened, once we, like, broke off the relationships, I was like, oh, my God. Like, I can do this. I'm free. This is exactly what I wanted. And I'm going to find, like, a way to make the – like, there's that silver lining, right? Like, it doesn't matter what happens to us. It's, like, what we do with what happens to us. Mm -hmm. You ladies know. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, having – Yeah, those tools, like, hypno breath work. I I fucking love this tool. Like, it's kind of like an all-in-one, like, superpower tool for me. But there's so many – other that like people like I might get one person they just like they have one session and that is enough for them for an a, like a lifetime or there's some people that resonate and they want to come back come back and, and, come, and, back and yeah. come back yeah so do you so you live in Conway yeah yeah so do you guys have like a how's the community out there how's like the we're forming it yeah forming so it. actually this is important um Oh, when I moved to Conway, I met another woman who moved to Conway, too, and she had, like, this great kundalini community before yeah. she came here, and she said something brilliant to me. She goes, I didn't have a community when I moved here, so I created one. And I was like, 
Yeah. You can do that? Yeah. <laughs> yep. You can. So that's what we're doing. We're in the process of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what we're doing. And I think that that's that's so special. You know, Conway definitely needs it. Mm-hmm. That community definitely needs it. And mm-hmm. um, I think just in general, like this last few years has been like this great awakening. I know it's been a great awakening for me. Like ever since COVID happened, that was like my mm-hmm. light bulb moment. That was like, oh, shit. Like some shit's going on. That was like my... That was my chance to start really like digging deep and uncovering some things that clearly I needed to uncover and like kind of go through and kind of figure out. And I feel like over time now, a lot of people are starting to wake up and starting to find all these Mm -hmm. alternative healing methods and all these things. And they're like, oh, wait, what? Like we can heal ourselves? Like what? Like, yeah, we can. Like it's wild. Yeah, it's catching like wildfire. Like I'm just like watching like goddesses like pop up. Like yeah. popcorn just everywhere and it's like we're not in competition like we're all no, here to be not at all like our own goddess like we are our own like ruling our own kingdom now and I'm just seeing it and it's so freaking beautiful well here's the thing if the feminine doesn't come back and this isn't like oh women need to rule the world no it needs to be equal mm-hmm. it needs to be the feminine and the masculine need to have balance yep. and equality and as soon as that happens and it's like real masculinity, like real men that empower women to like use our divinity and our m- fucking powers, like if like just with Mother Earth and our connection. And if we do not have this shift happen in the next decade, 10, 20 years, like it's not like centuries anymore. Yeah. Like our kids, yeah. kids aren't going to have like a place to live because yeah. the Mother Earth is suffering. And so that is why yeah. universal law we have to tap into that like we have to have that understanding and and if people just like started and even the fact of like every day I wake up it's like how can I help Mm -hmm. if every single person woke up in the morning and they were like how can I help Mm -hmm. my main purpose no matter what it is not money you know what I mean it has nothing to do with money it's just like my main purpose is how can I help the next person and I know Mm -hmm. universal law if I continue in that pattern the universe has my back and that has been proven to me Mm -hmm. time and time and time again. And it is so beautiful and it is freedom. I get to show up authentically who I am in my power, the way I look. It doesn't matter. I don't care what anybody says about me. I don't care. Like, I know who I am. I know what my purpose is. And I'm here to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're either going to listen or you're not. And that's Mm -hmm. cool if you don't want to. But, like, I'm telling you, it's it's a time where it has to shift. It has to. Yeah, it's happening fast. It is happening. I have seen it. Like, especially, like, not even just, like, you know, through social media. Like, a lot of my friends that were so one way a couple of years ago have, like, now I've seen, like, you know, their posts and their stories and the way that they speak now. And I'm just like, okay, mm-hmm. like, I see you. <laughs> I see you. Like, you know, it's crazy. It really is crazy. And it's sad that something like COVID-19 had, had to, like, awaken all these people. But here we are. If it served a purpose, right? Yeah. yeah. I believe it. I think it, like, served, like, a global purpose. It did. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I, you know, talking about all of this? Like, how has this practice or how has this, you know, evolvement in your being, like, m- really made you, like, step into your power as, like, a woman? As a woman, right? It's always as a woman. Um Cause has to be as a woman. That's where we're the most, or I know I'm the most wounded, right? Um, I definitely see how that's like shown up in my life, like the wounded, wounded feminine. Um, and I always like put so much stock into men and their opinions and their ability to support me. Um, and I had to learn the hard way with so many things. Oh my God, so, oh my God, so many things. Um, can we talk about sex too? Yeah. Yes. Like, so that's a huge one too like so you know like in talk and also like the subconscious a lot of this is on the subconscious level like I'm thinking I'm walking around like such a conscious being thinking I'm out there empowered um but uh, my sex life would show that like for you know since I started having sex to pretty much up close to this point in my life a lot of it was to like to serve men transactional we were literally right? just talking about this mm-hmm. yeah but i i wasn't like fully aware of it it was yeah. like oh i'll do it because he wants it yeah it's t- to make him feel better to keep things going and to shut up and be a good girl <laughs> yeah right oh mm. god then i like woke up 
<laughs> recently I was like, oh wait, I'm doing so many things that I was just taught and told and sold. Um, Amen. Yeah. yeah. Not anymore. Amen. Yeah, not anymore. So mm -mm. I'm just waking up and waking up and waking up. And, um, and now being a mother, there's a whole nother layered of like empowered feminine on that too. Like how, how am I going to show up? Like a mother up? to a daughter specifically. Yes, specifically. Yes. Thank you. Um, so I'm like watching myself. So I actually, she's, I brought her to the podcast. She's, you know, in her own little space, but to like show her, like, like this was, this was exciting for me. Like this was worth my time. Like I drove a couple hours. Like I wanted to yeah. show up for you guys. I thought this and would be so fun. And we're so happy you came. Seriously. I'm so happy you took the time. Thank you. Um, so, but like, this is part of the dream is like, this is like one, one drop in the bucket to the, to my dream, like of just sharing my vision and story with the world. Motorcycle season, baby. Oh, that's what yeah. that was. That's okay. what that is. Yeah. yeah. We could, we're like right by the airport too. So the airport's there. So yeah, if you guys ever hear some noises, it's motorcycles or yeah. airports. We're in yeah. Manchester, y'all. Yeah. I was wondering <laughs> where that was coming from. We're in Man's Vegas. What was I saying? Empowered mother. Yeah, empowered mom. Yeah, so like, yeah, so bringing her, just like leading the example. And we just had an incident with clothes. Um, you know, she's she loves clothes, right? I love clothes. My mom loved clothes. It's a way to express ourselves. Yeah. I love clothes. Love clothes. Yes, so, but she's 12. <laughs> she's also very emotionally more mature than... Most 12-year-olds. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, she can really hold her own in like in a room full of adults it's really quite impressive but she also wants to dress like an adult so I'm on this like um controversial edge here where it's like yeah wear whatever you want if like someone tells you it's too provocative it's too this it's too that that's not their opinion you know if you and it's on that yeah like it's that, programming they've yeah. been programmed to believe that yeah it's a rule and it's made up because you know Again, for agreements yeah, like rules yeah, the up. rules are made up Mm -hmm. Who said? Exactly. Who said she couldn't wear that? Yeah. I mean, I don't like the idea of my toddler wearing a crop top and like some... Yeah, no. Yeah, like sexualizing babies, but like she's a 12-year-old young girl. Like she's growing into her own, you know? She's coming into... So like, you know, still recognizing that she's a child. So maybe, you know, there's like maybe just more... The boundaries are getting a little bit more loose for her to be able to find her like a way to express herself through her clothes. Um, and people have their opinions about that. Yeah. And it's, it just caused a big emotional upset. And, you know, it's my job to protect her, but it's also my job to allow her to express herself and yeah, find out who she is because that's what matters. Yeah, because if she's, like, taught to believe a certain thing or, or go against her intuition of who she wants to be and self-express, as in Zoe, my daughter, she'll be three in a couple weeks, and... I'm a tomboy. Like, I grew up with two older brothers. Like, I do not like to wear dresses unless I have to or unless they're really sexy. And it's, like, not, you know what I mean? It's not, like, a dress. Like, it's, like, yeah, it's a fit because it's, like, you know. But all she wants to wear is sparkly princess, princess dresses. dresses. <laughs> and everything is pink. And also, she wants to dress herself. And I have, like, these control things where, like, things have to look a certain way, right? That's, like, my own programming. And, like, have to match or, like, do this whole thing. And she wants to wear, like, green sweatpants with, like, a pink. And I just let her do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just let her just be you. Yeah. Whatever that is. Like, I honor you. I, this is the thing and what we have to understand about our children. They're not my property. Mm. I made a soul contract with them. They chose me before I even knew. Amen, sis. Right? I love that. And like they came into this world and it is my job as their parent to embody whatever their little soul wants. It's not yes. my job to create them how I want them to look, to act, show up, the sport I want them to play, the mm -hmm. thing I want them to do. Like, no, if like, yep. you're, like this is it. Like this is my only job is to just show up for you yeah. as like and just like guide you to be like a kind person a thoughtful person like a you know a good human being and have good moral codes the second you stop choosing me I'm still gonna honor that too I'm gonna promise and I'm gonna do all these things and like that's it like that's it that's our job mm -hmm. so we can have so much peace in that and like being like okay you're so beautiful and like you chose me you chose me to be your mom like how amazing is that and now yeah. 
and like my kids like really fuck with me Mm -hmm. right like (laughs) all I get to do is just like love them and like do all those things and like you know there's this other situation in life where like one of my other children is like not right now yeah and like that's okay because that's his path this is his journey and like his life and like I know who I am as a mother and I'm gonna stand strong in that and Mm -hmm. that's gonna shine brighter than anything that's ever done and eventually like that will be seen and honored and noticed and that's 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 it agreed and I just want to like acknowledge the strength that that probably took for you to get there like to be like no I am like standing like I'm I feel right in my mothering like yeah that that takes a lot to get there sometimes so I'm a hundred percent right in my mothering I know especially through co-parenting yeah and the shit that I've seen you go through co-parenting is like you stand firm in who you are and that's like so admirable to me because I'm just like bitch I don't know how like (laughs) I chose them to be their parents also right yeah so that's it true so there's just like deep understanding and forgiveness and all of that like like I choose, they choose, like, (laughs) our children choose. And if we can just understand that there is, like, a universal law that is happening here and there is a bigger purpose and everything is happening for a higher purpose. Nothing nothing is happening to me. Everything is happening for me. And it's if it's for me, it's for the higher purpose. And I know that so deeply in every part of my Mm -hmm. being. There is not a piece of me that doesn't deeply understand that anymore and it has taken me a lot of work Mm -hmm. a lot of breath work a lot of spiritual work a lot of time alone like whatever it is like it's taken a lot yeah to get here yeah 10 years you know 10 years of this work I've been doing so it's not just like oh I just like happened overnight like no I've literally been actively wanting to change my life for 10 years the most work I've done is in the past six months yeah but yeah like it's the all 10 years like led me here to all of this to meeting beautiful human beings like you to me and taylor connecting like this podcast that just everything like it's just it's time and i know it and yeah you're here for a reason clearly i've been watching you are i've been watching you on social media for literally years like not just i think i found you like right after covid i forget it was like a little bit after covid i thought i found you yeah you added me (laughs) Someone, you added me, but I didn't start seeing your stuff until, Uh, you know, a little afterwards. And then I started following you. And then I was like, oh, my God, like her posts are so, like, inspiring to me. And you were just speaking your truth and so, like, unafraid to just put some fucking crazy shit out there. And I was just like, this is my people. Like, all the stuff you were speaking, all the videos you were making, I was like, oh, my God, I was so connecting. I was, like, watching every single one of your videos. Like, I was listening, I was seeing you, like, I was like, oh my god, this is incredible, and I just knew someday we were going to connect, and I had even reached out to you, do you remember? I think it was, like, last summer when I started doing my EMDR sessions, Yeah, and I was like, I'm having a really hard time in my relationship with my husband, like, I really need something, like, I'm fucking desperate, like, I'll literally do anything, and then I literally ended up going starting my EMDR therapy yeah. like right after I'd messaged you so then I just started doing that and I yeah. completely never even wrote you back but I was like seeking something and yeah. so I, I kept seeing your stuff I kept seeing your stuff and I was like oh my god she's got it like I need to message her I need to know like I have to do it I have to do whatever she's doing because clearly it's working for her and um now it just kind of feels like a full circle moment like to be able to actually experience that and then have you here and talk about it because I think it would be so beneficial to so many people who watch our and listen to our podcast like everyone who listens is is some is someone like we've reached our people right all of these people are seeking some type of healing modality whatever that looks like they're all healing from some type of trauma or or life shit like Mm -hmm. whatever it may be and they're all here for a certain reason it's like holistic healing Mm -hmm. and so this specifically breathwork specifically I feel like everyone can do this in their home Like, you don't need to go out somewhere. You don't need to find someone. Like, you could literally just practice at home, do Mm -hmm. a Zoom call with Mm -hmm. Megan, people. Do a Zoom (laughs) call with Megan and do it in the comfort of your home. And that is just so beautiful. Like, that's – that is – accessibility. Like, Mm -hmm. that's what people need. They need accessibility. And, like, that's what that is. And so it just feels very – it feels crazy that I had never experienced or even knew what – like, oh, I'm like, oh, breath work. Like, yeah, yeah. breathe in and out, deep breaths. Okay, mm-hmm. like, you know. Mm-hmm. But, like, I never thought that you could get such, like, a... a high. A sp- 
spiritual high. Mm-hmm. Like, are you fucking kidding? Like, my body mm-hmm. was like, my arms were raising, my hands. YouTube, if you're watching, my hands were like this, <laughs> like cramped up. Like, it was wild. I couldn't even believe it. And then I went to stand up after and I had to like brace myself because I mm-hmm. still felt like I was like floating a little. It's intense. It's um, intense. Yeah, I, I love. I mean, I love getting high, but how do we define that? Like, now I just get high literally off my own supply. I know. Yeah. <laughs> literally, literally. Your breath keeps you alive. Like, it, yeah. like, invigorates. It's, it's wild. Yeah. yeah. So, go ahead, no. I'm, oh, I was just saying, like, not only does it get you high, but, like, just all the other things that you can do with it. Like, you talk about accessibility. Like, that's important to people. But also, it being incredibly efficient and effective like yeah. I love meditation like that will always have a special special place in my heart but I feel like we're we're kind of culturally using it the wrong way a little bit like I could be more specific here but I just want to get into the fact that like it's it's really hard to access the subconscious and it meditation is one of the most difficult things in our modern society to sit down and be still yeah we it's were talking about very this. difficult and because discipline. of our phones yeah and it computers takes discipline and, and we don't have the normal human doesn't have a ton of discipline lately yeah. in this society so we don't have to like get through that hard barrier with like with something like meditation absolutely love it not knocking it in any way but the breath work with the you know the my guidance it's hyperspeed Whatever, like yeah, it's that instant gratification that every drug addict, yeah. aka me, is craving, <laughs> mm-hmm. and I couldn't believe that when I like experienced that, I was like, this has been in me this whole entire time, and I've never experienced this or even like gave it a thought. Like such a light bulb moment for me, and I can't wait to like actually continue to practice this in my life with myself and my husband, and like hopefully that brings us together because what a gift. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely, there's like, you can definitely get in with someone else and do, like, go on a journey with them next to you, something specific for you both, you know, you could do like a love session and, yeah. and come together that way for sure. Yeah, it's incredible. I want to bring something up because it was so important and, and you said it and, and I want to hear your experience on it too because now that I've started doing this myself, So just sharing videos and being vulnerable, like on social media and like trying to build that community, right? Because that's what it is. Like the I now know, like through the session that I had with my other healer, and then having you, like what my job is, like what my purpose is, right? And like I need to help the next woman. Like women need to realize their power, and we need to make this shift. Like it needs to happen because it's gonna cause equality and balance and just like a cohesive earth. And I've just been like sharing so vulnerable. And Tay said that's how she found you, right? Like that's how, yeah, you know, she found Social you, and like media. this is all happening. So, what's your experience with that? Because like with like just being so vulnerable and like open and like sharing social media, like have you built your community? Like, what do you notice? Because like that's happening with um, that. Every time I do share, I get such what's the word? Just the I get reaffirmed because when I, oh my God, no, no, it's not just only encouragement. It's that people, the messages that come into my inbox just break my heart or make my heart swell. Like people start to open up themselves, right? It's like, I'll take the first step. They take the, they take another step to vulnerability, a healing, growth, whatever it is. That's been my experience too this past year. I'm so glad you said that it's in your inbox because what is that about? Because um, now that I'm just starting to share, everything that's coming in is in my inbox. People mm-hmm. aren't liking these things. Nope. People aren't commenting on these things. But my DMs mm-hmm. and my, are Blowing in up. flux. And my videos have thousands of views within 24 hours, but like 50 likes. And I'm like, and then my influx of DMs, I'm like, why are people so afraid? They're so afraid to say like, oh, if I like that, somebody's going to see that I liked that and see that I agree with that. And I can't like, it's like, and it's like, you almost like feel it, right? People are like, oh my God, I could never let you know that like, this was like, okay, publicly, but like. (laughs) There's such a, well, you've got that, the most personal connection is through, you know, our inbox. Personal Right. Yeah. Yeah. So like the people unload, like people bear all in that way through my inbox and it, it's also like a huge honor like I don't take that lightly I'm just like 
you know, that someone is willing to share what they've been through and like their deepest, darkest exactly. secret, like deepest secrets with me. It's wild. And it's like, okay, I'm on the right path. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was like me opening up about my sexual trauma this past yeah. year and doing all huge. the reels and sharing about it and talking in my stories. Part of me was like, dude, people are going to watch this and be like, what the fuck is this girl doing? But then I would get the 20 mm-hmm. messages at night from women who are like, I've never shared this. I've never shared this. I've never oh. shared this. I've never shared this. But oh my God, thank you. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's what was like important to me. I don't give a shit how many likes or shares I get. What I care about is like some just one fucking person is relating to our messages, Always. right? Mm-hmm. It's just is is relating and and feeling that I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Like yep. someone sees me. Like mm-hmm. I'm not alone. That's huge. Yeah, I wasn't. I don't do anything that I like for likes and shares. I really oh, don't no. give a fuck about but it. But I know yeah, exactly no, what you I know, meant. but it's just like you're but right. It's that people Nobody are afraid. Likes it. Yep. Everybody is afraid to just be in their authentic like passion and power but with us doing this and like sharing and being the women that are leading the way like you know trudging the road and doing the things that we have to do and not caring I don't care I really don't care if one person likes my post but I'm just letting everybody else know that I'm gonna continue to show up yes because the inbox is yeah 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 there's nothing like that. Just people being like people you don't even know, never mm-hmm. met them in their lives. Mm-hmm. And they're sending these paragraphs being like, oh, my God, like, I'm not alone. Like, I, I see you and like, thank you. And you're just like, oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. It's I'm going to keep doing it. it. It's all part of it. Yeah. And it's so, so important. We got to keep doing it. Yeah. And that's what it takes, right? Like, not even to just to, like, hype us up. But, like, it takes courage to go on there and to be vulnerable in a fucking world of, like, hate and criticism and fucking judgmental-ass people who are like, nope, nope. Like, you know, like, and there's trolls who comment on my shit and, like, on my reels and the amount of stuff that I've gotten on, like, my makeup videos. But I do not let it affect me because Mm -hmm. I know that people relate. And so I'm just like, I will continue to trudge, trudge through all of this hate and negativity because on the other side there's two people they're all fans. Yeah. And they're just <laughs> boosting my algorithm Some just anyways. aren't as nice as the other ones. <laughs> yeah. They are all fans. If they're watching it, yeah, they're, they're fans. Fan. If they're watching it, they're fans. Yeah. If you're clicking on it and you're watching it, thank you. Yeah. Even if you're doing it because you just want to try to criticize, criticize or yeah. like pick apart or judge. We're all one, hon. Yeah. If yeah. you're judging yeah. me, you're judging you. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy. Yeah. Like we all come from the same universal energy. My energy is connected with your energy in this moment. Your energy is connected with my energy. I walk into a stranger and like we are connected and it is it. The homeless person, the whatever it is, it doesn't yeah. matter. The billionaire that's, you know, making all the money and mm-hmm. all the things. Like I am you. I am you. And you are me. And so this is it. It's just so abundant and beautiful. And like, as soon as everybody starts to realize that, like, you just, it's only up from here, baby. Yeah. 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 So what's a day in a life look like for you right now? Um, Doing the hustle, doing the mom thing and reminding myself every moment that I can that I've got a fucking dream. Mm. and to keep my head on straight what's your dream we want to hear it i love connecting with women and reminding them of how fucking amazing they are or if they don't if they if there's nothing to remind them of then it's helping them to discover yeah discover. how amazing they are that. Yeah, we're on the same path, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be doing these retreats and, the, and like the women's circles that we've been doing. Like, we would love for you to come. I do come. And everything that we make, you know, it's donation based, and everything we make, we're gonna start doing women's retreats. And I would love to have you come and do a breathwork session. Like, these yes. are things that are gonna be retreat. in the works, like mm-hmm. that we're gonna do, like up in the mountains, probably up towards Conway, <laughs> like a house up towards Conway, like when I we finally that. settle or on, on the something. beach because we have to jump or in the, the ocean. Yep, or in the ocean. It's a very important part of it. Yeah, like just you these. Know, like I don't want to go this in the cold. Is exactly. Mm-hmm. Do we have to do things that are making us uncomfortable? Yeah. Uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you guys are you guys doing like the cold water plunges? Or I just ordered things? one. I yeah. jumped in the ocean twice this winter. She's and way I, more about it than I am. Let's just make that clear. I've been doing cold showers. Like I've been like turning my no. water on cold. <laughs> yeah. I know. And like I have brainoids. Like I had brain trauma. I was in a car accident when I was 
uh, 19, I was med flighted in Mass General. I was in a coma. They told me I wouldn't remember how to walk, talk. My parents said my eyes were in different directions. Like, and I woke up from the coma after like being out, and I was perfectly fine. They let me out of the hospital a couple of days later. Like, wild brain surgery. Like, I have like neck and like all this stuff, you know. Wow. And like yoga yeah. helped me heal. That it's just my yeah. It's yeah. I'm really it's meant wild. to be here. Yeah. yeah. There's not like I am meant to be. In this moment right now, sharing with you, building these like amazing connections with women yeah. and just like we're changing the world. There is, no, I'm not, it's limitless. Like it's limitless to like globally, like you said it in, in our breath work. Like you were like that, your breath work was a life changing moment for me. Like that day last week, yeah. like I stepped into my power. Like that, yes. like I had like that like moment. It was like Are everything. You hearing this, you guys? <laughs> Go see Megan. Everything <laughs> that I had done, every work that I had done, every thing that I have worked so hard for and struggled through. And like, I'll tell you a couple months ago, and Tay will tell you, like I was in fetal position, crying, yeah. like literally ready to be like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Like yeah. I can not fight like this anymore it doesn't feel right like I don't know why I have to fight so hard like this is so strange like it just nothing made sense two months ago like mm -hmm. literally like every day just being like nothing makes sense and I'm gonna tell you today mm -hmm. everything makes sense <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. everything makes sense but there's a message in that right yeah like fe those feelings are temporary and mm -hmm. like you said in the beginning everything that is happening to you now is for your greater good and you won't understand that while you're in the thick of it but like we kept telling you like you know we were in this group chat and we were just encouraging aim like no like you have to keep fighting you have to keep fighting you have to keep fighting like it will all work itself out like you have to keep fighting and that's what she did and like that's why she's here and like that's why we're all here and yeah. it's just all for a greater greater good right like it's mm -hmm. just when you're in the thick of it though it's so easy mm -hmm. to focus on the bad and mm -hmm. the negative and the why the fuck is this happening to me like this is so bad and then all of a sudden, a few months later, you're like, holy shit, Tay. <laughs> holy shit, Tay. I'm a new person. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so like, fucking yeah, happy. bitch, I told you. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. And I know that's going to come in waves, right? There's going to mm -hmm. be moments where, like, I'm not. And that's okay because I'm going to remember this, like, power. And, like, every time something crazy happens to me, like, I get a little stronger and I get mm -hmm. a little stronger and I get a little stronger. Mm -hmm. And those bouts are way shorter and way shorter. Mm -hmm. And it's maybe just five minutes where I'm just like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Yeah. And just actually, like you said with the men, right? Like, it's like you've had to let go of some of these relationships. I feel like a lot of us, I don't know if this is your experience, but, like, we rely on a man. Mm -hmm. And it's like when you find that power again and when you find your own individuality, it's like, holy shit, like, where was I yep, this exactly. whole time? But where it doesn't I? even have to be individuality. It just needs to be equality. And you find equality in the masculine and Well, you can still, like, I feel like me and my husband have individuality in our relationships. Like, I'm my own individual, he's his own individual, and we definitely, like, come Show together. up equally yeah. as your own True. individual. equally, yeah. Yes, as your whole, your whole, he's whole. And you guys show up as two whole human beings in this relationship yeah. and do life together as two whole human beings mm -hmm. yeah and that means that like sometimes dill supports you 100 percent because you have nothing and sometimes you support dill 100 percent because you have nothing it doesn't mean it always has to be equal yeah it just means that the energy exchange is equal yeah the energy exchange that doesn't mean that has nothing to do with money that has nothing to do with work that has nothing to do with mother father roles like that has nothing to do with any of that it's just equal energy yeah Agreed. That's where it comes in because yep. that's what we are. We're energetic beings. Yeah. So if we let go of this dimensional shit that doesn't actually matter, the material piece of it, the jobs, the money, the cars, the fucking whatever it is, the roles that we play, it's about energy. What energy am I showing you and what energy are you showing me that we can build on this energetic level of consciousness and manifestation and power that comes from the universe and from everything that we are ancestral? Mm -hmm. Then we get to show up as our true authentic selves and nothing else fucking matters and we thrive because this level of consciousness is actually like, it's, it's about the inner work. A hundred percent there was something that came up to me while you were talking or I was remembered I'm in the right company here because um a psychic um so my mom committed suicide let me back all the way up when oh, I was mom and your dad? so both my parents <gasps> committed suicide different times here oh my, god, my heart yeah so my dad taught me like 
woke me up to the world. My mom made me realize, okay, it's time to do the work. And she got, when she first passed, I saw a psychic and she channeled my mom and she was all apologetic and stuff. And I was like, yeah, nothing to apologize. We're good. But she's like, I have a message. She's like, it's so important that Megan hears this message. This is what the psychic, she's channeling in like my mom's voice. And I was like, okay, cool. Ooh, it's gotta be a good one. And she goes, the point of life or the game of life is to get back up and you get knocked down. And I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was rather like anti- profound message. Yeah, it felt anticlimactic. And I'm like, okay, well, she really wants to tell me this, so I'll just put it in my back pocket and save it for later, 10 years later. Now, I'm like, I think I'm starting to understand what mm. she's saying. And it's because, like, every time I get knocked down, every time I forget who I am, every time I had something sh- uncomfortable or shitty or what negative happens, I learn, I learn so much. And then I, when I stand up, I'm even better mm-hmm. than I was before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, bitch, uh-huh. yes, bitch. <laughs> Every single fucking time. And it, it is, it's happening quicker and qu- like hyper speed now. I can like, my brain just does, it, it like goes through its own like hypno breathwork session. Like I've done enough times, yeah. like I know the process now. I don't necessarily like, not that I don't have to do it. I understand how it works. So I like hyper speed that shit. Yeah. It's like and you do the turnarounds yeah, quick. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What a gift. So really like the whole point of this message is like everyone needs to experience hypno breath work. Yes. <laughs> like seriously. And then like it'll take one session and then you know how to do it. Right. So then you start to practice on your own. Or if mm-hmm. you would like to have a guided session because that was incredible just the music selection, like all of it. Like I was like, this music's on point. I'm such a music person. So that's, if I can connect to music, I can really connect to myself. And so it was just so powerful. Yeah, music's Um, a big part of it. Definitely invokes the right emotions. And what I'm learning with each session as I go along, it's like there's power in our words. So like I could just say, hey, breathe. Or I could say, you know, or whatever it is that I'm saying, but I could say it in a way yep. you're going to fucking listen yep and, and, here, and you did that and yeah. you did that my fucking subconscious listened <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and my ego let go and i fucking stepped into my power that next day it was like i have like another birthday it's like march 29th 2023 like yeah. 3 29 23 like it's like a whole new birthday because i am a whole new mm-hmm. woman and it is she did she woke a- up that next morning and texted yeah. me and was like tay like, this is fucking it. Like, I feel it. I'm so empowered. I'm like, yes. Well, yes. it's crazy because I actually, like, uh, two weeks before that, I knew that breath work at Jillian and, and nourished in events, and I've done a lot of breath work, and it's been so powerful for me that I'm like, I need to learn this. It's like, you know, I have all these other modalities, and doing these private sessions, I'm like, I need to learn breath work. So I signed up for a course. I signed up for a call, like, a like just, like, a call to, like, see this yeah. course. And... um after I did your session on Tuesday, I totally forgot I had signed up for the call. And I had an email reminder that 9.30 the next morning after our session, Insane. I had the intro call for the breathwork session, that I like the breathwork master class or whatever. And, you know, I just said yes. And it's like, you know, it costs a lot of money. And mm-hmm. I'm like, it's, you know what I mean? And it's like a 10-month course. And I'm just like, you know what? Like, I'm doing it. Like, I am like, yes. Like, it all aligned to that. So... I'm now going to be in this like 10, uh, it's not 10 month, it's 10 week course. Um, it's pretty intensive. I got to, you know, do a lot of online stuff, which if anybody knows me, it's like not a fan. I actually have my first intro tonight at 8 p.m. Um, and I'm so just going to do it because yeah. it's so important. Meditation is important, but a lot of people like my sound, the reason why sound works and why people are able to come here and sound is because the vibration and the noise is able to bring them in. So Mm -hmm. that's why they're able to have the experience. A lot of people can't just sit still. Mm -hmm. And it's like a discipline, right? Like even I, like I do the Vedic meditation where I try to do two times 20 20 minutes a day and I got taught this Vedic meditation and it's an amazing meditation practice. But, you know, there's four or five days a week where I'm only getting one in, where I'm not getting both of mine in because it's discipline. And discipline is so hard. And I'm like, I want to go to the gym and I want to do all these other things but like doing breath work like once a week or like it's just like it's it's all of it it's all of it It Mm. it's all of it there isn't like one thing but it is a little bit more attainable to do a breath work session to relieve 
the trauma from the body. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what it that's what it is. Like I, I feel it. I can feel it in your session. In that session, I had released a lot of trauma earlier in that day, specifically cut cords. But in the breath work, like it's like you can almost feel your body breathing. Yeah, it was it wild. Out. Yeah, it so, was wild. You know, we like reread a lot of books about like healing and stuff, or like intellectual yeah. things. Like, oh yeah, that sounds good. Like I remember reading about how like the emotions are stored in your body and you're like, yeah, that sounds good. Like on an intellectual level, but like doing this practice, I know on a visceral that it's soul like level real. that it is. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Doing trauma work this last year. Has and not only really know that true, but you're moving it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's what the breath does. It's like, oh, it's chi energy, right? You're moving that yeah. energy. And the, when the energy starts to move and if there's something stuck in block, it's like putting a fire hose up. The breath is like a fire hose to those emotional blocks, and it comes up and out. Yeah, and fire hose up the ass. Go ahead yeah. and say it, right? <laughs> just can blow it out. <laughs> nice cleanse. Literally. Let it go. Mm -hmm. So what is one thing that you would love listeners to take away from all of this? I think I just want everyone to remember how amazing they are and if you don't know go find out who the fuck you are and what you're made out of yes whatever tool you use yes, yes. whatever tool mm -hmm. dance breath screaming mm -hmm. whatever that's the thing like there isn't one thing mm -hmm. you would know remember you know I, that's like probably my favorite thing is like you are your own inner healer nobody knows you better than you yeah Yep. We've got we've got all the answers inside of us. It's just a matter of like coaxing, midwifing, pulling it, teasing it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you do need somebody to do that because yeah. you really can't do it on We're your own. We're not supposed to do it alone. We're not yeah, supposed, you're not to, do supposed to do it alone. No. Yeah. But you're the only one that knows. Yeah. But you do need I've had amazing guidance, amazing people in my life that have pulled it mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Yeah. So beautiful. Yes, so beautiful. Bitch. We want yes, to just bitch. thank you again for coming all the way here, two hours, and driving all the way here to spend time with us with your beautiful daughter and just spending the Sunday with us. And we are so excited for everyone to hear this message and hopefully contact Megan because she is incredible. You can do it through Zoom. You don't have to travel to Conway. I mean, I'm sure. Can they see you in person somewhere? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Do yeah. You, do I you have. Like oh, yeah. So, okay. I do have some in person classes right now in Freiburg at Heart Space. I love in-person classes. Like that was yeah. my first experience. You know, everybody's different. Every session's different. But like ha hearing someone else start to have that release, emotional release, it I drop into it more. And it's like the whole room will erupt. If someone has like a uncontrollable laughter, it it erupts, and it, yeah. everyone will start to laugh or cry or you know, it everything gets intensified. But if that's not your jam, then like in your own bedroom, with if that's safe, your laptop on yeah. you. So yeah. she doesn't hear you. That's yeah. that was a big thing for me. Like it sound, it might sound so yeah. crazy, but yeah. like I just needed to be able to like know that I was by myself in that moment. And yeah. now that I've done it once, now I feel like I'd be more comfortable to come and see you in person and experience that in person and really let go. So yeah. So Conway, Freiburg? Conway, yeah, I'm in but I'm I'm gonna be branching out a bit because I just love the live group You're sessions. You're gonna do one here. Yes. Yes. Let's do that. Let's yeah. do one here. Okay. We're going to do one here. Yeah. There you go, everybody. We'll fill the room. We'll, we'll do one here. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. girl. Perfect. Yeah. That's why you're here. <laughs> Divine yeah. connections. It's all happening. It's in the works. You open yourself up and... Yep. And it shows up. Limitless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Limitless. Wealth. Abundance. There's no... There's no lack. That's it. All right. All right, we're going to end the episode the same way we started. We're going to ground down, get connected. Remember who the fuck you are. Take a big breath in through your nose. And then just let that shit go. Yeah, baby. Mm. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Thank you. Follow Megan on all social medias. Yeah, and us. And us. <laughs> hey. I always forget to plug us. <laughs> That's right. It's not about us. We're a vessel, so we're always just like, no, we'll figure it out. But it's, it's about us, too. <laughs> Thanks so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to listen to what we have to say. It means the world. 
As always, we want to end this episode by reminding you that we are not medical professionals and we are not giving any type of medical advice. We are simply sharing our experience and solutions. We are here with the intentions of reminding you that you are never alone and that everyone's healing journey is unique to the individual. Make sure to follow us on all social media platforms to stay updated. Stay well, sacred rebels. See you next time.